our channel ANS episodes. We are in Taipei, Taiwan. In this episode, we're going to some places recommended by our local friends to try the traditional Taiwanese breakfast. We are at Soft Power, which is very near to Liu Changli Station. It's seven minutes walk. And the reason we choose this restaurant is it's recommended by my local friend. We order three famous Taiwanese breakfast, which is the rice roll, the egg omelet, and the rabies cake. And of course, in Taiwan, you should always order soya milk. It's very good for the weather. And just to bear in mind, maybe this restaurant is a little bit more pricey compared to the normal street breakfast in Taipei. But the only reason is because you can have a really nice, comfortable sitting down area, especially if you have kids. <laughs> I'm going to try the egg omelette with chicken. So yummy guys, the sauce is really special. I think I'm going to try the radish with the sauce. Mm. It's quite special because it I think they pan fried the radish. And the good thing is not too oily. It's very famous in Taipei. So they have the pork floors, egg and yo tiao. Mm. The pork roast is really tasty. And the yotel is really really crunchy. I think it's a really good combination. We are at Man Man Le Guang Chu Fang and today we order a couple of very traditional Taiwanese breakfast which is the egg omelette and the burger itself. I think the special of this place is the sauce, so if you want to try The taste of this food is very similar to the street food, but the good thing about this place is very comfy, especially if you have kids and if it's rainy outside. And for the drinks, we order milk tea and red tea. This place is very famous with the pan fried dumpling. So I'm going to try with the sauce and chili. Mm. If you come to Taipei, you really need to try this because the skin is really thin. It's really, really nice. This is pork and chive dumpling. Mm. If you like chive, then you're gonna really enjoy this. Okay, so not only dumplings, they've got noodles as well. And our local friend recommended these noodles with the sesame sauce. And yeah, it looks great. Let's try it. It's actually really good, guys. I like it. And if you come here, you need to order the soya milk. So I'm going to try the hot and sour soup. This is the Chinese version and the bamboo shoot flavor is really strong. Mm. So this is another traditional breakfast that you need to try. It's called Mei Er Mei. They have uh, different branches in different area. And today I order egg omelette with corn and egg omelette with bacon. So I'm going to try. So this is the corn one. Mmm, mmm, it's good. And I'm going to try the bacon one.
what makes it so special, I think the sauce as well. And I order, of course, a soya bean milk. We are at Lingyuan Tojang and I'm gonna recommend a few dishes from this place. The first one is salty soya bean milk with chakwe and the second one is chai pork bun and egg omelette and this one is crispy egg omelette and I'm gonna try the soybean soup mm. okay so I've, I've never tried the soybean milk in a savory dish so yeah it's quite interesting and I think they've got this little uh, shrimp and the classic Taiwanese breakfast, tanping or egg omelette. Let's try this. Mm. And I think this tanping skin is thicker compared to other tanping plates that we've been eating. So yeah. And the next one is saoping or crispy egg omelette. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, it's so crispy and it's so tasty as well. You don't need a sauce to eat this. It's like a eating a pastry. And the last one is chan pho pan. They have chives, minced pork, and garlic. The shallot taste is really, really strong. And yeah, our brought is a really great breakfast. And it's really cheap as well. So we ordered four dishes and two soybean drink. And it only costs 140 Taiwanese dollars. We are at Morning Swarm and the nearest station is Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, exit number 2. And what made it so special about this place, because they do different flavor of egg omelette. For example, they have taro flavor, they have sweet potato flavor, and the place is quite cozy as well. So this is BLT egg omelette, bacon, lettuce, and egg. The skin is so crispy. Mm. So, another one is taro egg omelette. I'm going to try. Mm. It is interesting combination. Actually, it's really, really yum. It's savory and sweet at the same time. And my suggestion is you come to this place, you need to order one savory egg omelet and one sweet egg omelet. This place is recommended by my local friend in Taipei. And that's the end of our Taiwanese breakfast experience. Hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode.